Hey guys, in this clip I want to show you how to get a massive and a wide in terms of panning bass sound for your sequences out of your modular system. So the reason for making this video is that I was asking myself for a while why my modular recordings did not match the sound that I had in my mind. Everything sounded narrow, not thin, but I really missed this expensive sounding stereo feel that I really like a lot. So I experimented for a while and I came up with this setup. Two or better four oscillators, two filters, two VCAs with minimum four channels each, two envelopes, one for the filter section and one for the amp section. For multiples, great would be two passive and two active. You can really never have enough of these. Long patch cables, an octave switch, which is optional, an LFO and a sequencer. One important thing again, if you like my videos, hit subscribe, hit the notification button, because that will support me making many more of these videos. So my approach is that I try to see it as a singer, uh, doubling his own voice on multiple tracks. You see, he will almost never be able to copy exactly his lead track, so he always gets this nice floating, almost chorus-like effect. So having this in mind, I use one oscillator for the left side. You see, I patched the oscillator to the, to the um, VCA over here. And the other oscillator I take for the right side. I just take some random waveforms to get a bit of a variety of sounds. Okay, let me clean up this mess a little bit. So I'm gonna put this spaghetti together. Otherwise it's a mess. So the next thing we have to do is patching the gate output of the sequencer, which is right here, to the gate input of the envelope generator. See, I choose one for the filter section. So I have to use a multiple, actually because I use two filters. So the left filter and the right filter. And the other output I use for the M section. So one is going, well, let me use this multiple again. It makes it a bit easier. So this goes over here. And this goes right here. Okay, so let me connect the oscillators to my sequencer over here and you can listen to the sound.
So this sounds already very cool, but it's a lot more fun if you have four oscillators. So adding two oscillators, I take the CV out of my sequencer and these are patched now to this octave switch. Which is no mystery, it's just for switching octaves of an oscillator that doesn't have an octave switch. The first channel of my octave switch is then connected to the CV ins of these oscillators and the second channel, the second channel of my octave switch is connected to these two oscillators. Look, now these two have the same range and the other two oscillators are then tuned one octave higher than our friends over there. Wow! So let me do the same technique again, like before. I take two wave, I take two waveforms and connect them to the amp section. This is channel three and four. And the same thing happens over here. Just two waveforms and connect them to our right VCA. And now you can, let me just make this a little bit tidy. Okay, now I press play and listen to the difference. That's quite a fat bass sequence. octave one higher Now we can play around with the LFO, for example, we can connect an LFO to the envelope and that sounds like this. It's not a mystery to have this wide stereo sounding system even in a smaller setup. If you bring this then into a good mixing table or to your audio interface, you should be able to get a great result. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.